I'm going to share with you a cool extension, uh, something that a lot of us have wanted for a long time that is now available for Google Slides, Google Documents, and Google Classroom. So in the past, when you create a slide deck and share it with the students, and each one of them get their own copy, once you share that out, you can't edit their slide deck. So let's say you're doing a portfolio or a trimester long project with the kiddos and you give them two or three slides to start with and then you wanted to add more slides afterwards in the past you couldn't do that there were paid programs to let you do it and things like that but um, now there is this um, add-on to slides and documents that allows you to once the kiddos have the assignment in Google Classroom you can add slides to their slide deck you can also delete slides from their slide deck en masse. So like you could have students start with two slides and then the next week you could add two more slides to your slide deck and hit a couple of buttons and magically those new slides show up on theirs. This is awesome. So this has really opened up the ability for longer projects, um, a slide deck that you could start things off and then add to it as you... Um, progress through the semester. This is awesome. So uh, I'm going to show you how it kind of works. Here's kind of a demo right here. I just made a slide deck. I named one one page one and one page two. So just so we can see these really easily. I added it to my Google Classroom just like you always would. I um, created an assignment. I added the document here so that every student will get their own copy. So it would be their name just like you would normally do with a slide deck. So um, I'll show you what it looked like. So I added my, I didn't put any instructions in, but there's my title. And you can see here that each student gets a copy. This is how you would normally share a slide deck so everybody can create or edit their own. I click save. And if I were to go to the student account, so this is my student account now, and I went into classroom, when they open it, this is what they see. They each have their slide deck. So just like normal, everything's there. I'm gonna take that off. Everything's normal because I've already shared this with them. And you'll notice the student only has two slides. So they could edit this in any way that they wanted. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put here, I'm gonna make this a different color um, just so that we can show that it is in fact changing things. So now you can see that's red. I'm gonna make the page one over here um, let's make it like a turquoisey blue. So there we go. So we've got, here's my student version. I'm going to go back to my teacher version. And here's the teacher one. So let's say we did this for a little while. And the initial assignment was just to put their name and kind of their thesis or the, maybe just their, what this slide deck's going to be about. And now we've learned something and I want to add two more slides. So I'm going to go ahead and add them on mine. I'm going to add a slide here. And so that we can really tell the difference, I'm going to make this page three, but I'm going to change the background of this one to fluorescent yellow. Oh, that is awful to look at. So it's going to definitely stand out at us. And then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make this background orange. So now we've got two different colors. So now my slide deck has four pages to it. If I go back to the student one, of course it hasn't changed because this is their copy. I'm just editing my copy. But I wanted all of my students to have these two new slides that I attached. So I'm gonna go back to my account and I'm gonna add the extension and I'll put the link in here for you. So the extension is called Magic Exercise Book. And when I launch it, on the right hand side up here will be a pop-up and it's gonna say all the things you can do. So basically you can either add slides or delete them. And right now I'm gonna add two. Now, I don't want the student to have four more slides. I could just say add slides to the start. That just means they throw them right in the beginning and I resend everything. I only want to send these two slides, page three and page four. They already have page one and two, so I want to send these two slides. So I'm going to go over here and specify the slides to be added. I'm going to go down and it's going to say which class do I want to add this to, and this is my demo class. And then say, which assignment was this? I'm going to add this to my magic school slide. So this would be all the assignments in that one classroom. And then I'm going to click the add to classroom. Now, once again, 
I could leave this checked off and all my slides would go. I could check this one and the two slides go in the beginning. So you can play with these later on, but I just want to show you how the magic works. I'm going to click the Add to Classroom. It's going to take a second and a pop-up is going to come out. And it says, which slide do you want to start with? So I look over here and I see I want to add slide number three. I'm going to hit OK. Then it says, which slide do you want to end with? Well, I want to end with slide number four over here. So that's number four. I'm going to hit OK. Chicka, 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 chicka. And now it says it's successful. So I'm going to close that tab out. I'm going to go to my student account now. Take a look at that slot page three, and I forgot to name that page four. Sorry, that's my bad. So now those two slides have been added to all of my students. How cool is that? In the past, once you sent a slide deck to them, you couldn't edit it. Now you can add things to it. So let's say I went through and for some strange reason, I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to send the orange one. That, I really messed up. Or maybe it was a a kind of an idea one and you told your kids to delete it out but of course you know none of them did you can also in the same program delete slides so I'm gonna go back to let's say I'm like oh I really want to get rid of this one this page three I made mistakes on it I want to delete it go back to extensions go down to magic exercise book click the launch button I'm going to go down here and I'm going to specifically delete a specific slide from my demo classroom and from that slide deck, that assignment. But instead of add to classroom, I'm going to delete from classroom. I'm going to click that delete button and it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete four slides from the presentation? Well, I don't want to delete four, so I'm going to say no. Please enter the number of slides you would like to delete from the presentations. I'm going to say one. Then I'm going to say OK. Are you sure? Would you like to delete one slide from the end of each presentation? Plus no to delete from the start. Well, I wanted number four to be gone. So I just want the last slide to be gone. So yes, would you like to delete one slide from the end? Yes, I would. I'm going to say yes. It's going to do its magic. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now I'm going to go back to my student slide deck and that orange one is now gone. I mean, how cool is this? We have been wanting the ability to tweak and edit slide decks, or at least most of us have wanted to be able to add slides to student slide desks, slide decks after they've been posted and assigned. You now have the ability. This is pretty cool. So I'm sure you'll find lots of uses for this. Um, the beauty is you can also pull back something. I think it's great. Hope that's helpful.